I roll over, looking for someone to throw the thing to, and Jackson lands right in front of me with a grin. I toss him the ball, and then he's fading away, running full tilt toward the goal at the other end of the field. Again. <clears throat> Seriously? These portals completely suck. I race behind him. I won't be able to fly again for another 30 seconds. But then Cole and the other werewolves start to pass me in wolf form, heading straight for Jackson. I can't take down both of them, but I sure as hell can take down one. So I throw myself sideways straight into Cole. His teeth close on my hand. But again, stone. And he's not turning loose. So now he's dragging me like a ragdoll down the field by one arm. Not quite what I was going for with what I hoped would be a heroic save. So I reach up with my other hand and pull his tail as hard as I can. He lets go of my hand just long enough for me to yank it away. But he's furious now and focused completely on me and not the ball. Which seems like it could be a problem. <laughs> At least until Xavier swoops in in wolf form and backs him down. Cole turns and runs straight toward Jackson like he's just remembered the ball, but I know the truth, and so does Xavier. We saw his face when he ran. He was scared of Xavier, which I'm afraid is going to have ramifications way beyond this game. But for now, Jackson is almost to the finish line. Thank God. I don't think my nerves can handle much more of this. Before he can get there, though, one of the vampires throws himself right in his path and shoves him back just as his foot is about to cross the goal. Jackson goes flying, and so does the other vampire, both of them spinning out of control through the air. Jackson lands on his feet, but he's cursing. The ball is practically incandescent at this point. He has no other choice but to drop it. Luckily, Gwyn is close, and she swoops in to pick it up. Then she's running back toward the goal. One of the dragons is hot on her heels, so she lifts a hand above her head and calls the elements. A powerful gust of wind swirls through the field, knocking the dragon out of the air and sending him careening into the witch, who thought she was sneaking up on Gwen, wand raised. But then, out of nowhere, the other vamp slams into Gwen. They fly sideways into a portal. Eventually, Gwen staggers out a few feet from me, the red-hot comet clutched in her hands, but she's banged up pretty badly, and she's clutching her ribs. The ref has her, and my flying timeout is over. I race forward, grab the comet, <sighs> and then fly straight toward the goal line. Cole is racing along behind me, but I don't look at anyone or anything but the goal line. This is our last shot to win this, and I am not going to screw it up. I feel a burst of energy from my mating bond. Out of the corner of my eye, I see both dragons from the other team racing straight for me. I can't stop them, so I don't worry about them. I just fly. And right before they overtake me, I reach inside myself and pull on the platinum string again, forcing more of my body to turn to stone. And then I instantly drop 15 feet straight down from the extra weight. And they collide overhead. But that doesn't matter, because I'm at the goal line. I release the string and yank on my human golden string, shed the extra weight, then fly straight over the goal and drop to the ground. <laughs>